in previous class we have seen stack implementation with link and list and also we discussed stack can be used in all these applications today we will see expression evaluation and conversion of infix to postfix expression first let's see infix prefix and postfix notations infix notation commonly used in arithmetical and logical statements in infix notations operators can be placed between operands here this operator infixed between these two operands polish notation also known as prefix notation in prefix notation operators precede their operands here we have the expression adding 2 and 5 it is written like this in prefix notation here operator precedes the operands suppose if you have infix notation like this it can be written in prefix notation like this any well formed prefix notation is unambiguous here the bracket within the prefix expressions are unnecessary so this above expression can be written like this the processing of this multiplication will not be performed until its two operands are available means first this operation will be performed and will get its result then this multiplication will be performed innermost expression should be evaluated first here in this prefix notation innermostness can be conveyed by the sequence of operators and operands in conventional infix notation parentheses are required to override the standard precedence rules if you take the above example 5 minus 6 result multiplied with the 7 if we move this parenthesis right means like this or removing completely changes the result this version is written in prefix like this whereas previous one will be written like this in prefix notation order of evaluation can be conveyed by the sequence of operators and operands so here parentheses are not required reverse polish notation it is also known as postfix notation in postfix notation operators follow their operands postfix notation also does not need any parentheses as long as it has fixed number of operands so it reduces the computer memory access and uses the stack to evaluate the expressions now we know infix prefix and postfix notations let's see how this can be evaluated using stack prefix postfix notations does not need parentheses and other precedence rules they uniquely indicate which operator to evaluate first here assumption is each operator will have fixed number of operands evaluation can be either from left to right or right to left let's see the procedure for how postfix expression can be evaluated and let's consider left to right evaluation assume here we have some postfix expression like this we need to evaluate this one algorithm will read each character one by one if element is operand push the element into the stack so will be pushed on to stack again next character that is also operand push that element onto the stack or next this character will be read if element is operator pop this two operands from the stack here we need to perform addition 4 plus 3 it is 7 push that result back into stack now stack is empty then 7 will be pushed on to stack if we have some bigger expression we need to repeat the same process until the end of the expression this rightmost token empties the operator stack except for the result of evaluating the whole expression final result will be within the stack let's take another example this is the first fix expression after reading first character it is an operand so push that onto the stack now stack contents are pi again if you read 6 this is also operand push that onto again stack 7 is also operand so push that into operator stack and next character is this multiplication symbol which is operator so pop these top two elements from the stack and multiply them 7 times 6 it is 42 so result will be 42 we need to push back that result into the stack so this 5 is not popped out from the stack so 5 will be there on top of this 5 we need to push back this 42 after this 4 characters our stack is like this 42 and 5 now after reading this operator plus again this is also operator again we need to pop 2 elements from the stack 42 and 5 and we need to evaluate them result is 47 this will be pushed onto the stack this 47 will be there
This is complete program for postfix expression evaluation. Here we are taking stack of size 10. Initially top is minus 1 means stack is empty. I did took the same example. We have discussed stack implementation with array. Here we have push and pop operations. Here I am adding this one more additional function evaluate postfix. It is having one parameter character array which will receive the postfix expression as input. What this function will do is it will read the postfix expression character by character until it reaches the end of the string. Let's see the algorithm. If element is operand, we have to push that element onto the stack. So if character, whatever we read, if it is a digit, we have to push that onto the stack. Before adding that into the stack, we are subtracting it from this zero. This subtraction with zero converts the character into digit. For example, if we take pi, its ASCII value is 53. If we subtract this zero, then it will subtract 48 from this 53 you will get integer value 5. Suppose if element is operator then pop the two operands from the stack and then evaluate them and push back the result. This code should be written in else block. So here if it is not digit means it is an operator. So pop top two elements from the stack and save them into this variables a and b and if operator is plus you have to sum them. If operator is minus you have to subtract them. If it is multiplication symbol you have to multiply them. If it is division then we have to divide the two numbers that result will be stored within the result we have to push that result back onto the stack so final result will be written to the main function this is the evaluate postfix expression this is the push function it will check for the overflow condition if stack is not full then it will add the element onto that stack and this is the pop function it will check for underflow condition if stack is not empty then it will return the top element and decrement the top suppose if we execute the same program Program, same program we need to enter the postfix expression here let us enter uh, this postfix expression 5 6 7 and multiplication then addition symbol so let us enter the same thing 5 6 7 then multiplication and addition see here result is 47 